We'll start with question. First question. Question one. Question one. The first thing I will do is to draft my data and it says an inbar of length 15 meters. Then let us write our data here. It says an inbar of length 15 meters. We write your original length, which is the length of the inbar is 50 meters. Increases to 50.5 meters, which means the second length, the increase in length is 50.5 meters. When heated from 20k to 270k, which means we have a temperature difference, which is delta T uh, is equals to T2 minus T1. And T2 here is 70k, which is 70 Kelvin minus T1 is 20k which is 20 Kelvin this is going to give you 70 minus 20 will give you 50 Kelvin and this is our change in temperature calculate it is linear expansivity we have to calculate linear expansivity and the formula we use for calculated linear expansivity is equals to L2 minus L1 all over, or let me just say, or the range, sorry. We can say L, which is the increase in length, minus L0, which is the original length, all over L0, which is the original length, del theta and this is going to give us l is 50.5 minus 50 which is l naught all over 50 times del theta which is the temperature times del theta which is 50 which is going to give us 50.5 minus 50 will give us 0.5 all over 50 times 50 will give us 5 times 5 is 25 therefore you have 2500 now we can say that our linear expansivity is equal to if you look at it, 0 0.5 over 2500, 0 0.5 over 2500, which is equal to, which is going to give you 0 0.00025 Kelvin, and therefore, your linear expansivity is do this one, two, three, four. We're going to have two times ten to the power of minus four for Kelvin, which is your linear expensivity. Now we'll go to the next second question. From this question, you can see that the length of the coffer is 15 meters. This is telling us that our original length is 15 meters. So let us go and write it now. Question 2. We will start with our data. Well, let me just start afresh. Question 2. The length of the coffer, which is the original length, is 50 It's 
50 meters. We go again and check the question again to extract more data. When it is 20 Kelvin, that is to tell you that our temperature, which is T1, is equals to 20 Kelvin. We go again. By how much will it expand? That is what is the expansion? What is the increase in length? By how much will it expand? The increase in length is unknown to us. Let's go back again. When the temperature increases to 30 Kelvin, that is to tell us that our T2 is equal to 30 Kelvin. Now, take linear expansivity equals to 1.7 times 10 to the power of minus 5, 5 Kelvin. Then we will write our linear expansivity is equal to 1.7 times 10 to the power of minus 5 uh, Kelvin. The formula we are supposed to use for this question is L is equals to L naught into 1 plus alpha d theta and we know that d theta is equals to t2 minus t1 which is equals to t2 is 30 kelvin minus 20 kelvin which is 30 minus 20 and it is going to give us 10 kelvin now we'll write our solution then we will say the increase in length is equals to l naught l naught is 50 we write 50 here into 1 plus alpha which is 1.7 Sorry, let me write it again so that it will be more clear. 1 plus 1.7 times 10 to the power of minus 5 times the theta times the theta. And the theta is equal to 10. Therefore, we write 10 in this place. Close brackets. This is going to give us 50 into 1 plus, if you multiply 1.7 times 10 to the power of minus 5 times 10, it's going to give you 0 0.00001 sum, then close bracket. The next thing we need to do is to say that L is equals to 50 into the bracket of we have 1 plus in the previous expression we have 50 into 1 plus this therefore we add these two values to get 50 into 1 Point zero 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 one seven. This is the same thing as because if we remove the bracket, it will become like it will become fifty times one point zero 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 one seven. Therefore, our length will become fifty times this will give you fifty point zero zero. Eight, five, and we know that the unit of length is in meters therefore this is our increase in length therefore the length now added the length has added 0 0.0 0 
zero sorry eight five meters so we can write it like as like this we can write it the length has added zero point zero zero eight five meters and this is our final 